as you guys probably already know from watching my channel, one of my favorite things to do is go out and find and review new interesting varieties of kombucha. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I have Brew Doctor Kombucha by the Townsend Tea Company, the Superberry variety here. Now, this is USDA certified organic, 60 calories per bottle, only 7 grams of carbohydrates, and total 5 grams of sugar. Now, I've never heard of Brew Doctor before or the Townsend Tea Company, but my local supermarket started selling it. I saw it. It looks interesting. I'm going to need a bottle opener to open it up. But kombucha itself, if you guys are unaware, is a very healthy beverage to consume. It's full of live probiotics, which are great for digestive and gut health. And just overall, because it's made with tea, it can help boost your energy naturally. Now, organic raw kombucha, it says, Brew Doctor Kombucha is made with high quality organic Townsend teas and organic cane sugar. Each bottle hosts billions of beneficial bacteria, yeast, and organic acids, and with no juices or flavors added after fermentation. We keep it 100% raw with no artificial nonsense. I like that. That's legit. That's honest. And Brew Doctor Kombucha is out of Portland, Oregon, which seems like a very kombucha-ish area. Um, I might be wrong. I might be geographically placing kombucha, even though it's definitely from the eastern side of the world. But anyway, let's open this up and let's see what Superberry Kombucha tastes like. I do like the bottle cap, BDK, Brew Doctor Kombucha, that's kind of cool. Thumbs up for that one. The offhand it has a very traditional kombucha smell. It has a little bit of that vinegariness to it. I don't really smell any berries yet. But you know what? Smells can be deceiving. We all know that. Let's take a sip. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Okay. So this is definitely a different flavor of kombucha than I'm usually used to. But it's not bad by any means. It's not very berry. However, it is very tasty. It has that little bit of that vinegariness to it, but it kind of almost tastes like a root beer. It has a very interesting flavor to it, but uh, overall, I gotta say that Brew Doctor Kombucha is hitting the spot right now. As you see my niece in the background, you hear my nephew behind me, they wanted to see this review just as much as you did. Now, the ingredients are filtered water, organic oolong tea, which is interesting because kombuchas I've had usually are made with black and green tea. So the fact that this is made with oolong could be what's giving it its distinct taste. That also has organic cane sugar, organic currants, organic elderberry, organic hibiscus, organic rose hips, and live probiotic culture. So I don't really know the berry aspect that's in here, aside from the currants. However, this is a very, very nice, good tasting kombucha. Do I recommend it? Well, it was on sale at my store for $2.99 a bottle. And that's something I had to pick up just to try. It's not too expensive. It's around regular kombucha price. It is a 14 ounce bottle, but it is a very interesting, interesting bottle. Um, as always, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you've had this before or any of their other varieties, if there are, let me know what you guys think. Um, leave your thoughts in the comments below. As always, like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other videos. Until next time, guys, see you, bye.